Hey YouTubers, how you guys doing? Um, I got another video today. I know it's been a month, but life busy. But I will not stop making videos, okay? Um, I'm, I just want to clarify some things. I don't upload videos to make any money off YouTube, even though it's welcome, but that's not the point. I like to just share what I love, share my passion of computers and cars. Um, and so... If you don't see me uploading like maybe a week or so, I really need to be doing it weekly. But if you don't see me uploading, it's because there's something. It's either I'm busy or being slightly lazy about it. But just know that I won't stop on like the pre previous five years. I'll keep posting something. Um, today's video is about those who like water cooling. Um, I make my own coolant. Um, I don't buy any of the EK or any other coolant or or, or, um, or dyes or pre, pre set of coolant. I make my own. So this is my little son here. He's gonna be my little assistant today. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I make my coolant in whatever color I want, whenever I want. And to make it, I don't wanna say biodegradable, but it's safe. It's not something to hurt you or harm you or anything like that. It's really, really simple. So I'm gonna tell you what you need. I'm gonna point the camera right here. So, um, if you're gonna make this coolant that I kinda mock up myself, you need a few things. First, the main thing you need, um, this is a anti-corrosive soluble, soluble oil. And what that is, um, basically it is a, it's for really meant for metal working and grinding. So it's those oil that turn the water kinda white. It provides lubricant. It kind of help the viscosity of the water and just prevent the metal from heating up and, cre and create friction. So that's what this mainly is, but it does um, turn the water white. Um, so this this is what you're gonna need. Um, it's called soluble oil. Um, I like this specific uh, brand because it does, um, I'll say, uh, mix with water very well. Um, some brands might not, you might see like residues of oil on top, but this one emulsifies in water very, very well. It's very stable. So I'll definitely grab this one, this version. Um, what else you need? Um, you're gonna need some um, iodine, and this is just for like, you no, know, to kill any algae that might grow in the loop. Because even though the oil and water kind of prevent the buildup of algae, you kind of want to be on the safe side and put like a drop or two of this iodine in your loop. You can use a clear iodine. This, you won't even see the color once you put dye in it. You won't, you won't see this. So I recommend iodine for that. And you're gonna need some, some soap. You know, the soap kind of helps um, break down the little oil molecules just a little bit. Not enough to take away from the color, but just to break down for some of that grease that might be in your loop, okay? So it kind of helps with that. And it's also like a cleaning agent at the same time. So. That's what I'd help for. So I'm gonna show you how I make, you know, kind of how to prepare it a little bit um, and then get you going. But as an example, this is a pre-mix uh, coolant. As you can see, it's purple. Um, it flows like water. See, no different. The little white substances is between the oil mixture and the soap, as you can see, if it settles. But once you, it's running in your loop and it gets hot and, um, goes through a couple of cycle of hot and cold, then you won't see that white substance anymore. But like I said, you know, you can see it's the, the reason why it's, it's bubbling up because of the soap in it. But again, it's really, really, really turned out really good. So I'm gonna show you how I make that. So what you wanna do first is, you know, you grab your oil, your soluble oil, and then, you know, you don't need a lot of this stuff um, because it, it does turn the water white, like I said. You probably just need like a little bit, just maybe like a couple, like about that. If you're making a big jug like this, okay? You don't need a lot in there. Um, and what I'll do is like, I'll put like a couple drops of this soap in there. Again, you know, just kind of a couple of drops. You know, maybe like that, like a little squirt. And what I'll do is just kind of put some water in there. I use regular tap water in my loop. It hasn't caused an issue. Doesn't cause no buildup or anything like that. For those of you who are very, uh, if you've been water cooling your PC, um, 
and you don't want to use top water, you can use um, distilled water like you know everybody does. But I find top water with this type of solution works fine. It doesn't clog your system or anything like that. I've been using this from 2013. That's how long I've been doing this uh, water cooling stuff, or at least the cooling out of makeup. <laughs> um, so go ahead, put some water in there. And as you can see, it's already kind of um, mixing with the water well. Kind of give it a couple stirs. As you can see, it's kind of white, but this bottle just ignore the the slight blue, but it's kind of white down there. So I kind of just mm, kind of mix it in. If I can get this on properly. There we go. Just kind of give it a mix. You don't want to mix it so hard that it foams up too much. You know, like I said, you don't want it really foaming up, but you just kind of mix it. Just get a nice little mixture going. And that's basically, this is just the base of your cooling. You can add more water to it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super white because once you put whatever color you're putting in it, it's definitely gonna make it look all nice and vivid and vibrant. So, um, so as you can see, so to show you how white it comes out, I have this uh, little uh, thing that I'm gonna pour in. So if you wanna hold this for me over the sink, buddy. Uh, hold it down here. Hold it down here. There you go. And I'm gonna pour it some in there just so you can see how white it looks. So you see, it's pretty white, you know, it's, 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 you know, not as bright white, but it's pretty white, um, you know, and that's what it looked like in terms of the base. Okay. Um, if I pour it out in my hands, the consistency is like a, like not greasy, but it's like a, it's a semi grease, but mixed with kind of like a soap, but it just feels like regular water. You know, that's that's basically the consistency. It's not very greasy at all. So you don't have to worry about the grease or anything like that. It really accent. This really mixed with water very, 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 very well. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and kind of add some color in it. So I chose green, you know, for those um, NVIDIA fans. <laughs> um, put some green in there to show you how I do it. And now the specific, uh, uh, color that I use uh, in terms of uh, uh, dye is called gel it's from Master Chef. You can get this a bunch of this from Amazon Food Coloring. It's gel, and for those who are concerned about it sticking to the surface of the acrylic, if you're using acrylic, it won't stick to the surface of the acrylic. Between the oil mixture with the soap, it just won't. Uh, it just won't allow it to bond and settle to the acrylic, so you won't have to worry about staining or anything like that. You know, it does it does a good job of preventing it from staining. Um, also, I find the gel more thicker and better for this type of application. Um, now, if you're running tubing, yes, it will stain the tubing, of course, because, you know, um, vinyl tubing kind of absorb uh, liquid and stuff much better. But with acrylic, if you're doing acrylic tubing, it won't it won't uh, stain as much. It You know, it takes a long time for it to stain. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some in there. So you can see, so I'm gonna put like a little drop, I'll kind of show you what it looked like. Just mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. As you can see, it's turning a little bit green. So you can go and you can keep putting some more drops in there. So I'm gonna just put a bunch so you can see how green it can get. And this is called leaf green, so it's a real dark green. Um, so look at that, that is, whew, that's a really nice green right there. So I'm gonna mix it up and kind of pour it in this so you guys can get a very clear representative of, uh, representation of what it looks like. So I'm gonna hold this again. So as you can see, it kind of foam up a little bit, um, but don't worry about the suds. You know, like I said, um, so you pour it in, it's, it's a little different. So as you can see, guys, you get a nice little, you know, milky green color. And 
again the same effects that you would get with any of the 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 the, the, the brand name coolant out there and this does the job again it prevents corrosion um it prevent it, it, it acts as a lubricant for your pump so make your pump less resistance on your pump so your pump runs smoother quieter it has some benefits by doing it this way and like i said i've done been running this for years and not one issue um so i definitely recommend if you guys want to do this to so just grab these items like i said you need the the soluble oil um i would say this specific brand you can get it off amazon um you can also get these dyes off amazon these master chef food gel these are perfect for 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 this application um um and some soap it doesn't matter the brand of soap but like i said you don't need a lot of soap because you can see that foams up a little but just enough to break down too much of that oil build up and uh, you find a perfect balance like i said guys just play with it and then you can add in some um some what's it iodine solution just a little drop maybe a drop or two just to prevent algae like i said this this already does prevent algae from the oil but with the iodine that's you know you're basically neutralizing that completely and i'm out of the loop so um yeah so that's it um guys that's what i wanted to share i think it's it's, it's a cool it's a cool idea to save on coolant because like i'm a guy that every time i do update my computer i i try to update my coolant i like i always like to change the color and play with it so i think this would be cool for you know someone else to kind of pick up and play with and you know kind of show me what they have done with this idea so you know, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, see you in the next video.